Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Salman Masood. In this video, I'm going to tell you that how to enable SQL Server authentication. So, first of all, let's open the SQL Server Management Studio. Here you will get this uh, window which is uh, SQL Server connect to the server. So uh, as I have installed my SQL Server on Windows authentication, so I am not able to run this on SQL Server authentication because it requires login ID and password. So if I try to connect this, it will give an error. So I'm going to set uh, my SQL Server on SQL Server authentication from Windows. So for this time, I'm just checking Windows authentication and connect. And here this is a green signal showing that it's, everything is working properly. So just right click on this and go to the properties. And select this security option, this one. Here you can see the server authentication is Windows authentication mode. So I'm going to uncheck and check this one, SQL Server authentication. And just click this OK button. It will give you a message some of your configuration changes will not take effect until SQL Server is started. So I have to restart my SQL Server. On this option and select the restart option. Press yes. It will ask you again are you sure that you want to restart your MS SQL Server? So click yes. It will take some a few seconds. Now just click on the security, login and select new login. And uncheck this Windows authentication to the SQL Server authentication. Write your login name here. So I'm going to write my own name that is MS Salman. And my password is something. Click on the server role and select system admin. Check this one also system admin public and then just press this OK button. Okay, I'm going to start this uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio again. Just close it. Now this time I'm going to select SQL Server Authentication and I have my login ID which was my own name and I'm going to write the password which I have set. Check this remember. Click. Okay, our connection was successfully established but then an error occurred during the login process. In this case, I have to go to the services. And look for established SQL Server. It is already running. Refresh. Okay. 
okay now unveil me it is asking me for the new password so i'm going to put my new password okay so i have successfully enabled my sql server authentication now now it is ready to for watching please like share and subscribe